In this video, we'll be looking at selection in Python using if and else statements. To understand this video, it's important that you have seen the Scratch version of this video first. For selection in Python, you need to first learn two key words. That's if and else. If is used to check for one possible outcome, but when this isn't true, whatever instruction follows else is what happens. Create an example in Python. Pause the video here to give yourself time to do this. We'll look at it in more detail next. Also, you'd already be familiar with what if and else do from the scratch uh, video. So, how does this code work? It's easy. The first line is outputting the question, is it raining outside? The next line lets the user enter a response. Then our selection starts with an if statement where we check if the value entered by the user is a yes. Notice how we use a double equal sign here. That's because one equal sign is used to place a value into a variable, whereas two means equal to. If yes is stored in the response, the program will output the message take an umbrella. It's important that you indent this line as indenting means the line belongs to the line above it. If this isn't true, we'll go to the else statement, which will make the line indented below happen and output the message you don't need to take an umbrella. Feel free to go back on this part of the video if that didn't make much sense to you. Now, if we compare the scratch blocks to the Python code, you'll see here that they're pretty much almost a perfect match. And that's everything you need to know about selection with if and else statements in Python.